The Easter weekend has turned into Storm Kathleen, and I'm not feeling like I've enjoyed a trip out today. Base wind's about 25 knots, gusts 35. We're not going anywhere today. Considering the conditions, I thought I'd have to think about safety, and particularly when I'm sailing alone. I keep most of the obvious safety kit in the starboard side cubby hole where it's handy just inside the cabin. We have an air horn. Now this is really useful and as a small boat on a very busy river I think essential. We also have a throwing line for people overboard. I never used it and I suppose I really should practice. And there is the ubiquitous inshore flare pack. It's still in date till the end of 2026. So knowing where I am is quite important and I still use my old Garmin handheld GPS, about 10 years old. It has a, it's a reasonable base map, it's got a good clear screen, and it's the default GPS speedo for the boat. It also has a really useful VMG, Velocity Made Good feature that I love. The Fix VHF has its own GPS antenna and it gives a position readout on the screen. This can be read out during a Mayday call, or more importantly in my wife's opinion, it's linked to the big red distress button, which when pressed, this sends out a DSC distress broadcast containing our position and MMSI number. I also have the cellular iPad and my phone. Again, both of these have independent systems and independent power supplies, and they'll show my position and allow me to tell someone else about it. And of course the handheld VHF is always handy just inside the left hand side of the cabin. As well as our own we have some guest life jackets on board and it did occur to me that I haven't checked one of them, well, uh, well ever. So I thought I'd see if it still worked. Velcro. All our other life jackets are, of course, checked and we are in the Still feels good. When it comes to personal safety on a boat, there is a spectrum of attitude. At one end, probably, would be my very competent and risk averse wife. At the other end, well, this is Alex Thompson in the middle of the Southern Ocean. He is wearing a life jacket, but I don't think he's got any safety line attached. It would absolutely petrify me knowing that if I fell off, I'd be dead. So I do manage that risk uh, basically by not doing the Vendée Globe. When I'm sailing alone, the rule is that I always wear my life jacket. It's a spin lock deck vest, really compact, very comfortable. It has a spray hood, a light, and a knife. These deck vests are also integral harnesses and have a safety loop on the front. Now I really, really don't want to be separated from the boat, so I've brought a safety line. The line is elasticated and has a security clip on each end. One goes on the loop on the deck vest. The other needs clipping to a strong point on the boat. On most boats, you would rig up some sort of uh, jack stay to clip onto, but the shrimper is quite small, and my plan is to use the three attachment points I already have. The first one is at the rear of the cockpit, just in front of the tiller and the throttle there. It allows me to stand pretty much anywhere in the cockpit, as well as the whole of the rear deck. And I can see this being really useful for sorting out, uh, I don't know, steering issues, anything in and around the engine, even taking the engine out, or perhaps helping people to climb back in over the stern if needed.
Now these lines can be doubled up to give you two clips to work with or otherwise to, to just to shorten the line. I think this line is way too short to double up um, but using it like this gives you the option of of working as though you were climbing i.e. having a one clip attached at all times as you move around the boat. Again I think this particular line is way too short to use in this way. Now I'm thinking that my main point of attachment in the cockpit is this one underneath the bridge step. It's reinforced above and below. It's really convenient, easy to get to, and it's kind of in the middle of the boat. It gives me access to the back of the boom. Uh, it's really quite reassuring when you're standing on the seat. All the reefing lines are within easy reach. And I can reach the gooseneck and the halyards at the front of the mast if I climb forward over the hatch. Now the boat is set up that I shouldn't really have to go out of the cockpit. But if that does need to happen, I'm thinking I can use the eye on the back of the mass tabernacle as my third secure point. This lets me leave the cockpit and access the foredeck. Uh, the anchor, Samson post and bowsprit are accessible and I can just about reach the roller reefing. Back into the cockpit and then I, I can now switch to the bridge deck uh, anchor point. And I imagine I would be using this point most of the time, particularly when reefing or perhaps re retrieving something or, or someone from the water. So I wonder how far I would fall out of the boat with this length of line. So yeah, I can just about get out of the boat and onto the dock. It would pull me down the side of the boat, surely, and I'd have to climb back in. Might have to practice that. Hey, maybe I could trapeze up wind using this. Got to be worth a go. Anyway, we'll try this out this year, and I'll let you know how it goes. 
So please let me know if you have any thoughts and comments. I'm sure there are lots of ideas out there. And more importantly, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. See you next time.